We're going to have a good time. Hi guys, Todd here. This evening, because it is late and it is dark, uh, I'm going to be looking at a little mechanical squonker, 18650, and it comes from Spain. Uh, there is a young man called Francisco that reached out and uh, he runs Grid Mods in Spain and he sent on the Embedded, which is his new 18650 squonker. This is made from Delrin. The box is made from Delrin. It's got silver contacts. It's got the, the Reveal V2 uh, 510 going on there and it is... It's got wood. Yes, it has wood in it as well, which is always a good thing. Uh, Price-wise, now you will get this through a Facebook group and the price for this is around the 279 euro mark for this one. But uh, we'll go and have some close-ups. So the presentation on this one is actually quite nice. It turns up in a nice little box like this and once again, the mod is called the Embedded by Grid Mods. Inside you will find the device and uh, you can see here that I went for the birch and this is a burl but you also get, a, he has an olive burl as well and he also does a walnut at the, the same price point but you'll see all that if you go along to the Facebook group. Now we'll take this out the way just now and uh, I didn't plan this out very well. <laughs> That's better. And you will actually see that you do get a little card in here, authenticity card. And you can see that the, the Facebook group name is there. And you'll also get, and this is what I like, this is, this is going now, I've, I've not seen this before in many other squonkers. You also get a big Allen key with this as well. You get a spare button. This is a standard Delrin button. You get a, this is a screw for holding down your contact here, which that is what the Allen key is actually for. And a little O-ring that goes in with it. You'll also get a, a soft silicon. Octi bottle. Uh, this holds seven millilitres of e liquid. It's got like uh, Delrin threads at the top here. No issues with filling this one. And it's once again, it's a nice soft silicon. Now, the mod itself, did I say reveal 510? Uh, I probably did. Reset V2 510. Uh, I will say this is manually adjusted this 510. Now I came across, I got another mod in Paris last year and I don't normally go on about these kind of things like saying something performs so much better than everything else but the, the mod I had, it had a V1 inside it and it the performance is excellent and I can say the same for this 510 here, the V2. It is very, very good. It's all silver plated and if I just give you a look in here just now, uh, what happens basically is, you know, you can back this off. This is how you adjust your 510 and hopefully you can see that as I move this, it's actually moving the pin up and down from here. So basically you just back it off, screw your atty on the top there and then just spin it until it makes contact. If you want to, you know, lock your mod off, then what you can do is just knock that back a turn and that's it, job done. Uh, it's a very good 510, I do like this. Now the contact strip, the plate in here, it's uh, 999 silver and I think it's about, if I check my notes, it's 0 0.6 millimeter in thickness and it's held in place by, once again, this little contact, this little doodah down here and you can see that's fixed there so you get a spare one and you actually get the allen key if you want to do that now you can change the button over you can see that i actually have a matching button here but uh, you can just undo this contact strip here and the button will pop out no problem at all the firing action is if we look here if i just push the button there that's just pushing the contact strip of the 510. The box is made from Delrin and yes you can see here that we have the um, embedded little logo going on there. We do have a serial number and we have our plus and our minus. I'll pop the panel back on just so it's it looks more complete for up close but once again the entire box is made from Delrin. It's Delrin uh, and it's got a lovely finish on it and I apologize if there's any fingerprints here because as usual I'm covered in e-liquid but the uh, yeah, it's it's well done. Uh, the actual sizes on it, it's about 73 millimeters in height, uh, about 42.5 millimeters across here, and 24.5 across the top. Each side, uh, you can see here, we do have a slice of that birch burl. So I, I'm going to go out on a limb here. I'm going to say that you know the the box is CNC'd and then hand finished. 
uh, and but the actual the panels that have been dropped in there I would imagine that they've been glued in place but uh, you can see I, I, I suspect that these have been hand cut and, and not a uh, machine cut uh, because there are some slight um, you can just see here that you know there's a little bit of a ragged not ragged but it's not a perfect perfect cut you know it's not a it's not a perfect rectangle this there are you know just I can see running here and where is the other ones you know just here I can see down this bottom corner I suspect that's all been cut by hand and then placed in to the box itself but just spinning around take the door out there's no magnets here no magnets not that they're actually needed I've got a little bit of juice in my bottle here and just offer this up and it goes on no problem I don't have any it's tight I will say that it's a tight fit and that just sits in place get in there like that one battery 18650 fresh charge in here and that is a good solid fit it's it's not going anywhere and I, I've not had any issues with the door popping off at all it's just it's a press fit now I'm going to take uh, this is the Panda uh, that uh, I'm barelier mods Panda it's an RDTA that I can actually squonk with and I have been enjoying this now you can see that there is a gap there so I'm just going to back this off a turn and then I'm just going to wind this 510 back screw down the Panda until it's sitting flush on here and then I can just screw that little wheel back up and hopefully there we go pop the door back on and that's me good to go now the one thing I will have to talk about is the button location and the squonk window location but uh, that, we'll talk about that back up the top which I think we shall do right now it really is getting dark um, I, I hope the lighting is it I don't really care about lighting I should be honest but I hope it's not terrible uh, I will sort out the lighting this year for the winter I, I promise uh, now this is once again I really like this 510 I mean there's lots of good 510s on the market and I'm not coming out and saying oh this is the best one ever or anything like that I will say that um, I have three mods with this 510 now and um, yes very good uh, I do like the adjustment on it just for you know spinning it just to take the 510 pin up and down if you're not using the mod then you can just pop the door off and just spin the wheel and it's going to remove the contact from the attic and the battery so job done now the the button location is it is just something you have to get used to or I have to get, I don't think I've had this configuration on a mod and I've reviewed a lot of mods and squonkers, but um, maybe I have. My memory is not quite what it was. But the buttons here, squonk bottles there. It's not a con I just just now I fire it most of the time like this. Not using my thumb. I'm actually using my fleshy part down here of my thumb, and and it works just fine. However, if I want to squonk, I can't. I would expect the squonk bottle to be here or here it's not it's at the back here which then makes me think that maybe this is supposed to be a left-handed because because now it's that my thumb is at the tip you know the, the buttons at the tip of my thumb here and so firing away and I can just take my hand and squonk like that it lends in my opinion it lends itself well to being a left-handed um, or I end up finger firing it so I'm finger firing it there and then I'm with my right hand there is no I cannot find a, a fluid motion you know just using my hand and just fire squonk fire it doesn't work unless I have it in my left hand and then I can fire and squonk there's possibly people that have got this mod already that are sitting there going you moron how could you mess that up once again, I have ha I I've got so many mechanical squonkers with so many different buttons in different locations and so on. For me, I find this works better in my left hand if I want to fire and squonk. In my right hand, it just fire, squonk, and, and I'm having it. It's right at the back. It just doesn't work as well. I really didn't want to make a meal of that, but it's just one of these things that I have to tell you. 
And if you have lots of squonkers, you'll know what I'm on about. Moving on. Uh, the actual finishing, the, the Delrin box, it's a Delrin box. Um, I, I would imagine that there's a lot of hand finishing that has gone into this. It's rounded on every single corner around here. It's even up the top here. It's got a sl you know, slight chamfer on the edges. It's done very well. The actual finish on the box is very nice. I can tell that it's not um, the actual panels that go in here. You know, there are, they look good. That are, and once again, this isn't a negative. I'm not. I'm just wanting to make it aware. I doubt very much. The, the, the look. Some of the cuts are just a little bit off, a tiny little bit on a couple of panels. And and I suspect it's you know Francisco's cut these by hand and then inlaid them. And to some people that might be an issue. They might go, oh well. Mm, ah. But to me, it just says that you know this was assembled by hand, not by robot. And and I kind of like that thing. Inside the contacts, you know, 0.999 uh, silver. You don't have to worry so much about the cleaning. Once again, the 510 silver plated. The bottle, nice soft silicon. And I'm going to have a vape. I've been talking too much. It's a bonny little mod. It, it really is. It's a bonny little squonker, um, and I kind of like it. I do like it. It's. I'm not even going to say it's not shit, uh, because it, it's 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 better than that. It's um, as somebody pointed out to me uh, when I say it's not shit. It's that's it's not good and it's not bad. It's just it's you know it's slightly above okay. Uh, this is definitely above okay. Nice little squonker. There's only one thing that I'll point out is that you really have to be aware of the button configuration and the squonk window. It might not be for you. If you are one of these people that you're used to, do I have another squonker here? Right, sorry, I shouldn't do this. I'm doing a comparison. I've got a squonker here, squonk, 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 push my thumb in there, squonk, 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 fire, squonk. So you've got, you know, a fluid motion. Whereas this for me, doesn't when I'm firing right handed it just unless I'm doing a finger fire it just doesn't have that yeah is that making any sense I have no idea I will say I also like the fact that another button comes with it just a plain black button the allen key the presentation um you know you've got the spare contact for this this screw in here we shouldn't for this kind of squonker at this price in this segment of the market you don't normally see that you, do, you hardly ever see a tool and a spare part thrown in. It's quite strange. You would think for the price they would. But he's gone that extra little distance. I know it's a tiny little thing, but it does make a difference in my book. I think I'll have one last little cheeky vape before we go. And we'll call it quits at that. I do like this. I like the mix of Delrin and wood. I do like that. Um, it, it's kind of like that reminds me of the say the armadillo. Uh, that's one of the things I liked about that. You know, you got uh, what I would consider a modern material, but with natural wood as well. I like the mix. Uh, Francisco, if you see this, thank you so much for sending your work on. I am thoroughly enjoying vaping with this. It's it's right up my street. Thank you so so much for watching, and until next time, bye for now.